basically the comparison between Adabus and Gidimus. As I think uh, someone, I think so, like Sunil is asking about this. Uh, okay, yes, Sunil is asking about what is the difference. Okay, so Sunil, now as we have covered the gradient boost also. Okay, now you can see in Adabus what we have done. Uh, yes, okay. Uh, now Sunil, I know, uh, I think that you can classify them. Okay, uh, uh, you can differentiate them. Okay, uh, as uh, uh, in Adabus, what we have done, we have updated the weight of the previously classified uh, misclassified sample okay we increase the weight of that sample and then pass it to the next weak learner okay and in gradient boost what we did we compute the residuals and we uh, tried to uh, fit our features and uh, those residuals in a decision tree and then compute the second residuals and like that uh, in the end uh, we add all the uh, all the outputs of these trees together. Okay. So in Adaboost, what is it? Adaboost is more about the voting of the weights. And in the gradient boost, it's more like adding gradient optimization. Okay. We have discussed about both these algorithms. I think that these both algorithms are clear to you. Okay. Before moving towards the XG boost, I will uh, um, urge you all to write in the chat box whether these algorithms are clear to you all or uh, uh, you have some doubt okay deepak pamani Okay, Deepak Pawan, are you asking some doubt? Okay, if you are asking some doubt, please be more clear. Mm. Okay, so you are uh, 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 and differentiating them. So, okay, okay, okay. We try to minimize the error rate. Yes, yes, yes. I, I, I understood, Deepak. Right. So, you uh, not like we try to minimize the error rate. Okay, uh, normally what we do is we, uh, we generally try to compute the residuals, okay, and try to fit uh, our next week learner uh, uh, on the residuals, on uh, uh, those residuals, okay, which we have computed, okay. Uh, there is uh, nothing like updating the weights, okay. Uh, we have uh, no concept of weights and gradient boost. Okay, Deepak uh, Pamani, it's, uh, is it clear? We have uh, we have to update the weights in other boost only. Okay. Okay. So now I guess no one is having any doubt. So now let's move on towards our next boosting algorithm that is XG boost, also known as extreme gradient boosting. Okay. Now let me first tell you that XG boost was introduced because gradient boost computes the output at very slow rate. Okay, as we have seen in the disadvantages of gradient boosting. Okay, this is the main reason why we are uh, we uh, why uh, have invented the extreme gradient boosting. Okay, because it computes the output at very slow rate, as there is sequential analysis of the data set, and it takes a longer time, large amount of memory, and all that things. 